The Walking Dead Season 7 finale is right around the corner, and it appears to start the All Out War series. The All Out War series is arguably the best story told in the Walking Dead comics, so what can we expect in Season 8? Before we get started, possible spoiler warnings for Season 8 of The Walking Dead, and major spoiler warnings for The Walking Dead comics and show. I'm pretty much going to be spoiling just about any of it, so make sure you're up to date on everything. First things first, I don't think Sasha will survive to see Season 8. I believe she will get Holly's death from the comics. Negan will kill her without damaging the brain, and when she turns, put a bag over her head and send her into Alexandria. In the comics, Holly kills Denise. However, Denise from the show is already dead, so who will Sasha bite? At first I thought maybe Rosita. It would make sense since Rosita would be the first to run to her aid. However, upon further thought, I don't think they will kill Rosita off yet. It'll be interesting to see how it mentally affects Rosita later on down the line, since she could have been the one that ran in there to die, and she was planning on that, but instead Sasha gave her life so, so, so Rosita could live. So I'm not sure who, would, who Sasha would bite. It could just be a minor character like one of the Garbage Pail Kids, or a random Alexandrian. So I suspect that Rick and the Garage Pale Kids will defend Alexandria against Negan and all the saviors in the Season 7 finale. The first strike on Negan will be a little different from the comics. If I'm not mistaken, in the comics, Rick and the citizens from the kingdom take two buses and attack the sanctuary. In the comics, they simply want to draw walkers to the sanctuary to surround it and starve out the saviors, but we'll get to that in just a second. I think this will happen in the TV show after Alexandria has been defended from the first strike by the saviors. I think our out the Rick and his allies will eventually push them back to the sanctuary and they will draw in the walkers and they will be surrounded. The saviors will eventually clear out the walkers, but that will take time. And while the saviors at the sanctuary are clearing them out, the Alexandrians, Hilltopians, citizens of the kingdom, and possibly the, the Garbage Pail Kids will be busy taking out savior outposts. The reason I say possibly when it comes to the Garbage Pail Kids helping with the outpost is because I don't 100% trust Jadis. Hell, I don't even know if they work, will help to defend Alexandria from the initial attack from the saviors. A lot of people are saying that she is the little birdie that Negan says he has. The only reason I don't think Jadis is his spy is because she can, she can be seen kneeling by Rick on the walls of Alexandria in the season 7 finale trailer, which makes me think that she will help them, will keep her, will keep her part of the promise to help them defend Alexandria and defeat the saviors. However, a question I have to keep asking myself is, what is stopping Jadis from pulling her pulling her army's support once they have defended Alexandria? As we've seen with her changing the number of guns that Rick has to bring her, you know how their deal was that he had she had to bring him he had to bring her a certain amount of guns, and when he got the guns came back, she kept changing the number and almost stalling like it seems. She changes the deals with people to make it in her favor in her favor. So once she defends Alexandria and once they help defend Alexandria, she might say, Okay, that's it, our deal's done, we're leaving. And Rick would have interpreted the deal as if they had to have helped them completely de defeat the saviors. But she said, okay, we helped you in a battle against them. We're, we're even. Our debts are paid. Now back to the outpost being attacked. I think we'll get a montage of Rick and his allies attacking multiple outposts. Ending with the scene of Ezekiel and his men being pinned down by saviors. The scene will end, much like it did in the comics, with Shiva giving her life to save the king. AMC is probably looking at the first opportunity to kill Shiva due to how expensive it is to animate the CGI involved with her being on the scene. While I would love to see Shiva stick around, the death in the comics where she dies protecting King Ezekiel is a worthy death that I would love to see translated onto the television. What happens next is very exciting. Rick and his allies will probably be having a meeting to discuss the future of their communities when Negan and the Saviors attack. In the comics, they attack Alexandria, throwing grenades over the walls, and destroying most of the houses around the perimeter of the safe zone. I would love to see this in the television series. It would be incredible to see Rick and Carl running with explosions going off in the background. In the comics, Rick eventually gets knocked unconscious, and when he awakens, the Alexandrians have forced the saviors back. This is where All Out War Part 1 ends. It is a two-part series. I really think this will take place in the this ending will start in the mid-season finale. They can't fit All Out War into a half of a season, and they really don't need to rush it. The ending to All Out War 1 has a very cool ending panel of Negan telling the saviors that they just won the war. I would love to see this translate into the television show as the mid-season finale. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like, subscribe if you guys want to see some more Walking Dead videos from me. Also, be sure to check out the rest of the channel if you like gaming or anything like that. I'll see you guys on the next episode.